Yeah, I know. Spoiler alert for a film that's like a month old or whatever. I don't know. Time is relative. It doesn't matter anymore. Time's been different ever since the pandemic. Either way, though, the director of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania finally addresses the death of Kang the Conqueror and the controversy surrounding it. So speaking with The Wrap, director Peyton Reed addressed all the Kang variants, and he said that we gotta wait and see what the payoff is gonna be there. But then during the course of the conversation, they brought up Kang the Conqueror, who dies in Ant-Man 3, which was a giant... Wait, what? Kang just jobbed? What? This would be like having CM Punk as your world champion, and then having Wheeler Yuta pin him for no reason. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Why? Anyways, though, when they put the pressure on Peyton Reed to address uh, the backlash and all the questions in regards to his death, Peyton Reed replied with, well, I think that's the real question. Is he dead? I've already addressed that. No, he's not. He's, he's not dead. Kang the Conqueror is not dead. Oh, come on, guys. Like, really? Like, we know the original ending intended to keep him alive and kill off Ant-Man and the Wasp, or kill off in quotation marks, but they decided to go back on that because of the changing plans for the Kang Dynasty, so they swapped things around, so he's just in the Quantum Realm. He then followed that up by saying, well, I think the variants are going to be the focus, but it doesn't mean that the dead Conqueror is out of the question, and who knows what happens with the Quantum Realm and what the future holds. And he says that by the time we get the Kang Dynasty and beyond that, that we're going to have a clearer picture in regards to what happens with Kang and what happened with Kang's death. So I think, and this is just my personal guess, the script keeps changing and it changes so often, just like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania changed the entire third act, literally four weeks before the film was finished and out in theaters. They could change this at any moment, but I think right now when he conducted this interview weeks ago with the rap, they believe they're going to address and possibly bring back the Conqueror. But what they do with him, how they handle him, that's the big question mark, I guess. So him replying like this, I think, gives you an idea. But also, if you really think about it, he's also responding to the fans saying, you don't know everything. So don't be upset about his death when he might not be dead. So I guess we'll see. Um, I'm in the belief he's not dead because it doesn't make sense. That, like, Remember the rule. You must see the body. We didn't see the body. Same with Wanda. We don't see the body. They're alive. 